We have a pretty decent squad going actually. We've got, um, you know, obviously Ryder going as a past winner. Uh, Dan coming in off um, what looked like pretty good form in the Ardennes Classics. Um, good balance, a couple young guys getting uh, Dylan Van Barla in his, uh, in his first Grand Tour. Um, so that'll be kind of fun to see how he uh, adapts to three weeks of racing. And then well, uh, myself to, to bop around in the, in the field sprints a little bit. And then we got um, guys like Thomas Decker, Cardoso, Nathan Haas, who can go up the road in breakaways or, um, you know, give support to, to Dan and Ryder in the mountain stages. So I think it's a good squad. Uh, you know, I think it's good because it, it allows the team to, to kind of cover their bases. Um, you know, in different scenarios, you have two guys, so one guy can cover moves while another guy kind of marks uh, from behind. And you know, I think that could be a, a really effective strategy when, when you have both guys on top form. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think we have a strong team when it comes to GC really, because we have two cards to play on every mountain stage. And uh, you know, it'll, be, uh, it'll be fun to see those guys uh, hit the Dolomites in the third week. Um, I've had a, a love-hate relationship with the Giro, I think. Um, I've had some good Giros and I've had some less good Giros over the years. Um, you know, I've had years where I won there, um, got briefly to be a part of Riders winning Giro, um, not as much a part of it as I would have liked, but, uh, you know, it was, it was cool at least for the, that first week to, to be there before I crashed out and kind of see the, see the momentum start, um, and then watch from home and see Ryder, uh, close the deal in the end. That was really cool. Um, and then had some down moments, uh, for sure with, uh, my friend passing away a few years ago in the Giro, but you know I think it's a beautiful race, and I took a year off from it last year and, and went to California instead. But I'm uh, I'm looking forward to being back. Yeah. Uh yeah, you know my first real big goal of the season was the the Cobble Classics, and they went uh, really well. I think um, you know even exceeded my my hopes. So I'm hope if I can kind of carry that form on into into the Giro now, I'll be quite happy. You know the the Giro's the next big objective. And, you know, I think there's, there's a lot of opportunity for sprinters in this year's Giro. Uh, I think there's going to probably be about seven sprints, so I'll see what I can do. Uh, it's never going to be easy with guys like Kittle there, but, you know, I know that uh, on my day I'm, I'm not so slow either, so I hope I can uh, slip one by him.